Okay, so when you're trying to figure out what type of resistor to use for your LED wiring, you're going to turn to Ohm's law, which is V equals I times R, or voltage equals current times resistance, and that can um, be used to help figure out what resistor you need to use. So um, if you solve for R, which is what we're trying to find resistance, um, R equals V divided by I. Um, in this case, really what you have to look at, though, is the difference in voltage uh, between your source and the LED. LED. So it's going to be the voltage of the, of the source minus the voltage of the LED divided by the current of the LED in amps. And so if you have a typical 12 volt source and a 1.5 volt LED um, that's rated at 20 milliamps, um, you can plug those values in. Now the thing to keep in mind is that uh, the, when you're using Ohm's law, you have to use amps and not milliamps. Um, and so you're going to have to divide your milliamps uh, by 1,000 to get amps, because there's 1,000 milliamps in one amp, and so 20 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.02. So in this equation, you're going to have 12 volts minus 1.55 volts divided by 0 0.02 amps, or 10.5 divided by 0 0.02 amps, and you get 525 ohms. So you need a resistor that's rated for at least 525 ohms. Now, you may, you're may you probably not going to find a 525 ohm resistor, but you can find 560 ohm resistors, and you can use that, and that's fine. Um, so the thing, though, is make sure that whatever your answer is, you, you use a resistor that's rated um, for a value higher than that. So don't use like a, you know, something like a 500 or 4 or whatever. Uh, make sure it's, it's going to be a little bit higher than what you actually need. So lastly, you need to figure out what power rating to use on your resistor. And that is simply power equals voltage times current in amps. And so here you're going to use a voltage going through the resistor, um, not what's going through the LED. So if you have a 12 volt power supply and the LED needs 1.5 volts, that means you're gonna have 10.5 volts left over for the, um, or that'll be going through the resistor. So you'll, you'll use 10.5 times the current uh, flowing through in amps, so uh, 0 0.02 if your LED is, is uh, needing, um, or if that's what it's using, um, and so that will give you 0 0.21 watts. Now, now this example was for a 500, you know, it's showed that we would need a 525 ohm resistor, so if you actually use a 560 ohm resistor, you're going to actually get a slightly lower answer since you're going to have less current going through the circuit. Um, in that scenario, you're going to have uh, less wattage being dissipated by the by the resistor as well so um but it's going to be close and so um just for for you know for estimating you can you can just use what the uh, led was needing um and so the, the, the ballpark answer though is that you're going to need something around a quarter watt and so um that you know basically be uh, sufficient there again you can use a higher wattage resistor and that'll be fine too and in general the higher the wattage rating of the resistor the better it will be able to dissipate heat. Regardless of what size you use, you're still going the resistor is still going to be dissipating the same amount of energy. It's still going to be dissipating that 0.21 watts of energy. Um, but if it's physically bigger, um, that's going to result in less heat buildup on the resistor since the resistor is bigger, it has more surface area, um, more mass, and and so it will basically be able to you know, sort of dissipate that heat uh, a lot easier than, than uh, a very small resistor, which has, you know, less area and so forth. And so the, the, the result will be that the smaller resistors will get a lot hotter than the bigger ones will um, if they're, you know, dissipating the same amount of, of energy. So um, that's something to keep in mind if you have a, a scenario where you need, need to have the resistor right next to something that might possibly be, you know, something that could melt, like some, you know, some type of soft plastic, um, that kind of thing. Um, so if that's the case and you need to use, like in, in this case, a quarter watt resistor will still get pretty warm. And so you, you may want to make sure that it's, uh, you know, not directly touching something that might be able to melt easily. Um, if you have room, you can use the higher wattage resistor and that'll keep it much cooler and really lower that, uh, that chance of that, of that happening. So um, that is also something to consider when you're you know, planning out what resistor to use. But the bottom line is that you're going to need for this example here, a 560 ohm resistor rated at a quarter watt. Um, and the thing here, it does not matter what side of the LED that you put the resistor on, it's still going to have the same impact. So um, you don't have to worry about that. As long as it's in the circuit, you're going to have uh, you know, the, the current resistance that you need to prevent the LED from getting fried. So, so I do have a couple of resources you can use here for um, calculating your resistor needs. Um, this first one here is Ohm's Law Calculator, and there's another one listed here as well. And you can use those where you can basically just plug in your values and get the answers that you need. Uh, the one thing with the Ohm's Law Resistor Calculator, though, it, does, it gives you the power rating for the um, 
for the actual LED, not the resistor. So you can go through and change the numbers to get the power rating for the resistor that you need. So if you put in the 1.5 volts in this example, you're going to get a 0 0.03 answer, but that's, that's how many watts your LED is using, not how much energy is being dissipated by the resistor itself. So but if you change that to 10.5, you'll get your correct answer for your resistor. So um, anyway, um, these are some things that can kind of help you quickly calculate these if you don't you know, want to do it yourself. But uh, hopefully, hopefully this was a little bit helpful, and um, thanks for watching. Bye.